welcome to the Julie Tussie Show Fabulous Cooking. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today on the Julie Tussie Show Fabulous Cooking. Have I got a great surprise for you, my friend, Miss Amanda Nybert. Hi, Amanda. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> I am doing so good. Thank you so much for coming on with us today. I'm so excited. Okay, like I'm totally fangirling on Amanda <laughs> because she is like a rock star in a bikini. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've seen the pictures, girl. Beautiful, beautiful lady. And she is a registered dietitian. And you have created an amazing program to help people lose weight. And I'll let you talk about that in a minute. But I wanted to say you can find her on Facebook. You can find her on social media. You can reach out to her and you can actually do her program, which I, you may not know this, but I'm kind of a um, pretend doctor of diets. <laughs> <laughs> she does her I'm, stuff. I do, I've done so many different things and interviewed yeah. some pretty amazing people. And I have checked you out thoroughly with the program, and I love what you're doing. Good. I love what you're doing, and I can see why it works. And since it's January, you all, guess what? Everybody makes a resolution. Oh, they do. To lose weight. Yes, okay, they like do. Like, I've been 30 for a long time, and yeah. I think I've made a few thousand of those. Yeah. And so I've determined to bring something called the resolution solution. In I other love words, that. find a way to lose weight for yourself, and we're all different. Right. That works for you to keep it off and to stop all this fast gimmicky stuff. A Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. I, I am going to encourage people in the new year to stop making a resolution to lose weight mm -hmm. and start making a resolution to eat healthy. That's right. Yes, that's my mission in that's life it. too. Yeah. And so because you know, once you just focus on healthy eating, making those small tweaks, yes, then the weight loss comes effortlessly. I know it does, and I'm I'm working on it, and now I'm going to rub shoulders and get some more of that going <laughs> for me. But <laughs> you all might not know because you may be new to watching the fabulous cooking show right here. But I cook my family's and my own original recipes. I started cooking on a stool when I. I was seven and um, I but I tell how to lighten them up as we go so with this show what's awesome Amanda is people who don't want to lose weight or don't need to or right. it's not their priority right now they still get great recipes for their family but they also learn how to lighten them up absolutely so, and everyone should be concerned about being healthy weight yes. loss is it's not all about weight loss no, it's because, about being oh, healthy Amanda I'm so glad that you're here today because I find that I end up living on notch, like cheese nachos, maybe a low-fat cheese for me, nachos, and like cereal, a bowl of cornflakes and bananas, or something like that. And I have trouble in my fast, fast life getting vegetables in. I know that you are my vegetable girl. I am. <laughs> that is. So I'm so excited today because I absolutely love vegetables. It's just learning to make them a priority and absolutely. making them fast and easy. Absolutely. Fast and easy is what we're all about. So if you have a friend who needs this show, girl, put put on your DVR and get ready. It's going to be amazing. And you're also going to possibly see in this episode or the next how to have a sweet treat too. Mm. So <laughs> you, I have a surprise for you. Ooh. Oh, I gonna, can't wait. You're going to like my little baby cakes. <laughs> Ooh. All right. So, so the first thing we're going to do is something that um, you said is your biggest downloaded video. Yeah. And now I hope it's going to be the biggest downloaded video. Me on too. Television. Oh, and by the way, while we're shooting this show, we are on Facebook Live. So hi, everybody on Facebook. We have a Facebook posse, Amanda, that follows us everywhere we go. They do. They do. Show. We're on Facebook from 6 to 8 every morning with the Real Gary Tussie Show. And we do a, like a radio show. And then we're doing the cooking show. And we both have podcasts. So you all are in for a treat when you join the Facebook posse. So go and find Julie Tussie right there and join. But so we have this huge audience. So mm -hmm. let's get down to business. What is your biggest video? So I am <laughs> all about meal prep I think that in order to eat healthy you have to put in just a little effort maybe on the weekends or once a week mm -hmm. to kind of get that food prepped and ready and easy to excess you yes. know accessible uh, accessible accessible <laughs> so I love to use chicken and I use a lot of shredded chicken in a lot of my recipes yes. and I hate 
would despise getting out my fork oh, and manually shredding that I chicken. That so I would much. be more apt to like chop it up than I would do the shredded. But the shredded, it just tastes so much better. I know. Yes. I know. It's like less work. To yes. <laughs> it's just so much better. A million vegetables and you don't want to have a big chunk of chewy chicken. Chew, chew, mm -hmm. Yeah. So I love shredded chicken. And so I came across this hack about how to quickly shred chicken. And it is, it will change your life. It is a game changer. And all you need is a mixer. Yeah. You don't even need a big, like we've got a big, <laughs> you know, kind of fun yeah. um, KitchenAid. Even a hand mixer will do it. So even if you have just yeah. a small hand mixer. Okay, So good. all you need is some cooked chicken, a hand mixer, and we'll show you how to shred it up. All right. So now we're going to make this amazing shredded chicken with my girlfriend, Amanda Nybert. So she came in to do this show with us, and this is all your idea. And yeah. Thank you. So I already have a beautiful prepared bowl of chicken breast. Now what I did, Amanda, was I took my Instant Pot, which I'm new. This is the first. Uh. I only just started using them usually i'm on the fanfare of every new right budget, but I, I you're way know. behind on that I was one way behind you know what i mean just a home cooking girl yeah but i popped them it's in a there. game changer yes and you can actually boil them and you know you can just boil them on the stove you can yeah bake them in the oven however to get them but yep. you got them pretty tender to shred yeah no, i mean I, and and this hack really works for any type of meat i've used it with pork I've used it with um, like a roast. I've used it with chicken. So anything that okay. you want to shred, it's it, good, it works. My husband's always asking for shredded beef. Yes. I'm going to be doing this. Yes. Hey, this is Julie. If you're enjoying the music on the program that you're hearing today, I want you to have your own copy. It's a CD that Gary and I wrote and recorded called And Dance. It's Christian blues and it's amazing. Get your own copy today at cdbaby.com forward slash CD forward slash Julie Tussie 4. Again, that's cdbaby.com slash CD slash Julie Tussie 4. Visit John Rader Farm Bureau Insurance North Madison office for your insurance needs, great rates, and great service right here in Richmond, Kentucky. Tell them Julie sent you. Honey, let's go shopping at Bluegrass Marble and Granite. All right, but I really don't want to miss the game today. Bluegrass Marble and Granite of Richmond is Madison County's only local fabrication shop for granite, marble, quartz, and tecton countertops. Visit our showroom to view full slabs of natural stone and schedule a free in-home estimate. Always have your drink on a rock with Bluegrass Marble and Granite. Go get! Hey, this is Julie Tussie. I want to invite you to listen to my podcast, The Julie Tussie Show. It's a lifestyle podcast for women. I'm also known as the Big Blonde Baby, and I like to bring you the fastest, funniest, most informative 30 minutes of your life. Yes, with me, no topic is off limits, but in this unpredictable and exciting show, I like to focus on women's health, fitness, fashion, current events, and women's lifestyles. This edgy, funny, and informative podcast is just what you need to quote unquote live your life to the fullest. Find me on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and iTunes. The Julie Tussie Show podcast. You're going to love it. So I popped it in the Instant Pot, you guys, and I, okay, y'all know I'm from a big Italian family and I can't do anything without lots of spices. So I put garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper generously. Yeah, it smells so <laughs> it good. Does, mm, it smells great. So what we do, what do we do, Amanda? We just put it in so here. So we have our paddle attachment. Okay. And um, we can kind of show that. So we have just the quick paddle attachment now, that we want to use. If you're using your home, you just use your regular... Or or you can, mm -hmm. right, if you have a okay. hand mixer, then just use the regular one. If you have um, this, though, use it. because No, this, this works the best, yeah. for sure. And then just dump the chicken in there. You can shred chicken, beef, whatever. It can be hot. It can be cold. It doesn't matter. It works great with anything. Now, um, Gary, you, you may want to make sure we get in the bowl pictures, too, because we're not getting them over there if you want. 
Yeah. Thank you, darling. So then I just, and I kind (laughs) of. I'm going to be scared. (laughs) I know, I know. So it it can get a little feisty, you know, sometimes. This is, you've got, so I start it really slow. Yeah. Just to kind of get it going. Perfect. And then speed it up. It actually, I know, it'll jump out just a little bit. It actually takes no time at all. Oh my gosh, Amanda, Look that is so amazing. Oh my gosh. Now this has to come off first, right? Yeah. Can you tell that this this one's kind of an ornery one for me? Here you go. I don't know. That. Maybe you can get it from your side. Thank you. There you go. See? Pull that out. Yes. And, and then, then pull that off. And it is just shredded. Look at I that. mean, gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Like it. It's great to use. It's you can kind of show so that one. Hungry yeah. Right now, because it's, it's really good, good to. You can use it in your soups. I love to put like shred my chicken to put in my soup, like chicken chili. Oh yeah. Um, this is great. Oh. We're gonna make like a little salad with it. This is great for if you make chicken salad. Yeah. I mean, really, there's just so many applications for just this really quick hack. It is. So now that we've shredded our chicken, we are going to start, uh, what do you call these? Asian? Asian chop salads in a mason jar. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And I'm telling you what, I got to, I shopped like a boss, sister. Yeah. Getting all this stuff and I had so much fun and I thought these are going to be beautiful and they're going to help get our veggies in. Mm. All right. So what's the first thing we're going to do? So we're going to make the dressing first. Okay. And this is kind of like your gig because you love to lighten things up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So... Um, this is a really nice, light, kind of Asian-inspired dressing um, that's going to go really well with all of these wonderful kind of veggies. So we've got a little bit of grated ginger okay. right here. Yeah, um, that's a, that's... Um, so if you've never used ginger before, you just want to peel it. And then if you've got like a little grater or a, a little garlic of. mincer, um, you can um, grate that easier. You can also, I'm all about store-bought, pre Oh, I did have that the in squeeze a tube. tube. Okay, yeah. I'm, that's what I do, you know, I know just keep too. things simple. Um, and then we've got some garlic. So you kind of um, finely minced up some garlic. Yep. So we're gonna add I that. I advise you don't, do not buy it in a jar and use it unless you absolutely have it, to. It, the flavor is just not it's just as. It's kind of chemically tasty. Yeah, to me. it's I, not I as can't fresh. Even eat it anymore. It's not as fresh. No. Um, and then we have a little bit of um, soy sauce that we're gonna add in there. I love to use tamari because I try to be gluten free. Oh, um, me too. Yeah, so you can yeah. use tamari, which is just a gluten free soy sauce or um, just a regular soy sauce okay. um, then we've got some sesame seed oil okay. that we're going to add to that my favorite you all I love this love we're going to use oh. it in our next recipe collie rice it really oh, makes oh like a, a how huge much do you flavor. think I should put so in it's about that? a teaspoon just a little bit just to give it a little bit of flavor I like to eyeball things. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm the same way. Um, And then we've got, um, we're going to add some olive oil, um, avocado oil. This is avocado. How much is this going in? Um, We're going to do about two to three tablespoons. Woo! Yeah, so a little. Tell me when. Yes. That looks good. (laughs) That looks good. That looks good. All right. All right. And then we're going to add just a little bit of honey just to give it that little sweet flavor. Yeah, because... Things can taste a little bitter where so our palate is so used to honey. Yeah. I put about a teaspoon. Is that about That's perfect. Is that enough? And you could use stevia, like a sugar replacement, yes. to really cut back on like the carbs and sugar of this. Okay, but there's not perfect. a ton of um, that in there. And then we have um, some sesame seeds and our uh, lemon juice. And how much of this? About a tablespoon. Seeds? Okay. Yeah. I like these. I love those. You can't have too many of those. (laughs) (laughs) Throw that in there. Um, I would do at least a half of a lime. I I mean, a lemon. Okay. Throw that in there. And then I love, I love how she's making this in a little mason jar Yeah. because I love to just kind of shake it up um, and keep it in there. And that is our quick and easy dressing. Oh my goodness. You think half was enough? Because I got another half ready. Yeah, no, throw it in there. Okay. And I took a knife and I poked it in and I rolled the lemon first mm-hmm. and then when I cut it in half juice to is make much the juice easier. come out easier because I'm not using a gadget. I'm using my hands. This is a gadget free kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole new show right yeah, i feel like that we are we are creating content we are. as we go that's for sure and then you just shake it up six, six, and here's six. your dressing Woo. oh my so gosh good. how yum yeah. Amanda, um, let me smell this i have yeah. 
Oh, to smell it is to taste it. Honey, let's go shopping at Bluegrass Marble and Granite. All right, but I really don't want to miss the game today. Bluegrass Marble and Granite of Richmond is Madison County's only local fabrication shop for granite, marble, quartz, and Dacton countertops. Visit our showroom to view full slabs of natural stone and schedule a free in-home estimate. Always have your drink on a rock with Bluegrass Marble and Granite. Go get! Find a healthier you at Campbell Chiropractic in Richmond, Kentucky. Safe, effective, and natural wellness. Get a free gift on your first visit when you tell them Julie sent you. Visit John Rader Farm Bureau Insurance North Madison office for your insurance needs, great rates, and great service right here in Richmond, Kentucky. Tell them Julie sent you. Hey, this is Julie Tussie. I want to invite you to listen to my podcast, The Julie Tussie Show. It's a lifestyle podcast for women. I'm also known as the Big Blonde Baby, and I like to bring you the fastest, funniest, most informative 30 minutes of your life. Yes, with me, no topic is off limits, but in this unpredictable and exciting show, I like to focus on women's health, fitness, fashion, current events, and women's lifestyles. This edgy, funny, and informative podcast is just what you need to quote unquote live your life to the fullest. Find me on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and iTunes. The Julie Tussie Show podcast. You're going to love it. Oh yeah. For me with a lot That's of really food. Good. Oh That's my really goodness, good. yes. I'm just gonna Girl. I'm just gonna make sure it is perfect. Yeah, that honey. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's my show. Mm -hmm. I have to taste it too. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Um, you can definitely taste the lemon in there. Mm -hmm. mm. Very mm. fresh. Oh man, that's so good. Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and prep all of our veggies. Um, okay. for the mason jar, for the salads, which we okay. actually have a lot already prepped. Um, but we're going to be using shredded, I never, we're going to be using shredded carrots. Yeah, we can yeah. use it over there. We've got um, snow peas, sugar snap peas that we can use, that we're using. We've got yeah. edamame that we're using. We've got um, shredded um, red cabbage. Which we can use Chinese cabbage instead. Yeah, we Just talked about use that. what you have in your kitchen. Exactly. This, this works really well. So let's, we've got some um, green onions that we're going to kind of chop up. Okay. Um, pretty finely Let me here. Get that out of the set. And then we also will get our peppers going. So the nice thing is that there's not a lot of, you know, prepping and chopping that we have to do. I love that. Well, and the thing is, you, we were talking about this earlier, is sometimes you have to take a little time on Saturday and Sunday and stop being notorious like me for eating bonbons and watching TV because you think <laughs> you're on a break. And take the time to prep your food because this is going to make four salads. No, absolutely. And that's what I love about mason jar salads. I use these all the time is that I can make them on Sunday and they're good all week long. I love that. Oh. And then we've got our pepper that we're going to chop up. And, it, you know, like Julie was saying, I really like to keep um, all my veggies really fine. I know. But just, you know, get these really nice and um, so you dice small bite. Yeah, okay. dice for sure. You want me to help? I'm yeah. Really good. Yeah, go I'm, ahead and grab have a some. Dice off, sister. Yeah. yeah. You're probably better at it than I am. Not really. <laughs> I just act confident. The other thing that I love to do is, is um, you know, I'll pair my meals. Like, for example, if I'm going to make these with all these peppers and stuff, yes. I'll plan to do tacos later in the week, too. You want to grab oh, that Oh, that's a that really good idea. Um, so I, I already have all my onions and peppers kind of chopped up. So instead of chopping, like, two peppers, maybe I'll chop four. And so I've already got that second meal that I'm kind of working on exactly. um, in the back of my head. So maybe it'll be a taco salad. Um really easy like that the other thing you know we're going to be making um you could make like a stir fry because these are all you know so you've got like a, a cold dish <laughs> in terms of you know this nice little asian salad and then you could turn yeah. around and use these same exact ingredients for a warm dish because i do this food prep for my nachos <laughs> for, for your nachos i got up 
a bunch of peppers and yeah. ready and onions and because I know it sounds funny to eat nachos, but I'm gluten free mm -hmm. and I like corn tortilla yeah. chips. And if I stay to 140 calories, I'm good. But yeah. I load my nachos up with a really light cheese, very little actually, and then a bunch of vegetables. And yeah. that's how I lost the 30 pounds because I love hot, spicy food. So then I put all the hot and spice and all the veggies. Yeah. Look at you go, girl, man. There we go. Fast. There we Ooh. go. All right. Honey, so we... wait a minute. I think this is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I got to show you all on TV. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now we're going to start assembling our mason jar salad. Do I get to make one? Yes, you okay. do. So the key to keeping your mason jar salads really fresh is that you want to start with the dressing at the bottom. That's the key. And then we want to load up the bottom with our really hearty Hard, vegetables. Yeah, the ones that aren't going to get soggy. Yeah, that actually oh, okay. get better as they marinate in that dressing. All right. And then we're going to use um, like our lettuce and stuff at the top that's not going to tolerate that dressing very well. Right, because like cabbage so down we build here it up. And carrots, they're not going to do much They're going to be fine. Better. They're yeah. going to be fine, yeah. Okay. So um, I, it's not really an exact science for me. I just, you know, throw a couple of tablespoons of this dressing in there at the bottom. Um, and then you can always go back. Um, we'll show you how it works, like once you dump it out. You can also make more. <laughs> exactly. You can just add more if you need it. But this is basically. Did I do good? I yeah. did good. Perfect. All right. So then we're just going to start by layering all of the ingredients um, throughout the thing. So I'm going to start with, oh, the other thing is if you have a canning lid, you oh, know, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Like, um, I think I have one. I, these are like your great grandmother used these when she did canning. <laughs> I have one in here. But the other tip is you definitely want to make sure you use the wide mouth jars. Yeah. You got to use the wide mouth. If you use you're not going to get it back out you're not gonna, if you don't. But this, <laughs> this is not necessary. It's probably good. Why don't you do one without okay. it? And, and But this definitely helps to, so it's not so messy. Okay. Okay. But we're just going to, you know, start by adding our we're veggies. Make fourths, right? Yeah. Make yeah. Fourth of my and vegetables. And then you can load them up in any order that you want. Again, we just want to put like the peppers and the onions and the, the sugar snap peas, you know, kind of down at the bottom where that dressing is. Now you can see once we start loading wow. it, now so it's going to be so pretty. The dressing's not touching the other veggies. Exactly. So you're not going to get that kind of sog effect. Okay. Um, I like to keep mine really colorful. So I'm going to load up this um, cabbage right now. Girl. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to put Whoops. some of these onions <laughs> on there. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Look how pretty this look is. At this. And then we're going to throw. Th here's the thing. Let me tell you. When we talk about adding vegetables, um, Look at the color in this salad alone. My <laughs> salad is full the of The more <laughs> color that you incorporate into your, your diet, the more nutrients that you're getting. Exactly. So if you just eat all green foods or if you just eat all white foods, you're missing out so much. So this is, we've got purple, we've got orange, we've got red, we've got green, we got it all. Which are super antioxidant oh. filled, beautiful for your body. So Can good. Those? Oh yeah, and so... Here's the deal. So with this recipe, the other thing I love about this recipe is it can be vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And so we can use edamame, okay. um, shelled frozen edamame. Never had it before in my life. So, I know. I couldn't believe that. Um, so I'm an edamame uh, virgin. Virgin, yes. Mm -hmm. it's, a really, it's a really great source of protein. I always say it is soy, and a little, some people are a little concerned about Yes. Too much soy. Yes, me too. I um, mean, I think soy in moderation is completely acceptable. Um, anytime I buy edamame or soybeans, I always try to source organic. Yes. Just because soy, most soy is GMO, therefore it's got a really heavy pesticide load. Right. And that's not healthy. No. no. So, um, but you can use this with um, the edamame. Okay. Or you can use our shredded, shredded chicken. Shredded chicken. Our shredded chicken. Now so. Now put that on next. Yeah. My salad's not as big as yours. I think okay, you needed a, a little bit more cabbage in yours. but So you can see I put that edamame right there, and that is um, going to be a great source of protein for this salad because mm, protein's important. You I got know. it? Look yes. At that. Yeah. 
Yum. And then what we do is we just stuff the rest with this. <laughs> You're a wild cooker, Amanda. Look at this. Is this not the prettiest thing ever? It is. We stuff I, it. These are so easy to go to work. You know, oh my so gosh. many women work and have kids. I mean, what this take us just maybe 20 no, minutes? No, no time. Ready. And actually, my daughter, she loves to help me make these. Awesome. Because I get her in here and, and we're chopping and she likes to put them together. And so here you go. You throw this in the refrigerator. Oh there, my gosh. Is that not perfect? Ooh, yes. And then you simply take it to work. You dump it out. The dressing's there. Everything is there. It's all chopped up. It's oh my easiest. gosh. It's so pretty. So pretty. I love it. So pretty. Let me show y'all on this camera. Look at Facebook. I'll get it. Uh, there we go. There's so oh, many different mason jar salads that you can make. Yeah. Um, and I put everything in a mason jar. Soups, um, salads. I'm the mason jar queen. I love it. Mm. <laughs> I love it. Now we're going to take these beautiful, oh my gosh, so beautiful Asian salad in a mason jar. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. I'm going to let you do the honors and show us in oh this God. bowl. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. So you grab it out of the refrigerator, you take it to work with you, and then all you're going to do is we're going to just dump it into a bowl and it's going to pull out all the dressing. So you'll see all the stuff just comes oh out gosh. right there with it. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Yeah, and then I just toss it, you know, to get all of that dressing mixed up with everything in that salad. And you can see it's gonna and be it really nice so and good. coated. Look at it, it's oh. coating the chicken now. Um, and there you go, you've got a beautiful, Look how gorgeous that is. is. All of those. So good for you, Amanda. So it's good. So good for you. So good. So easy. Oh my gosh, it's so good. We'll be right back. I gotta have some of this. <laughs> it has been fabulous to have you here with me. So Thank much fun. So I much. love it. I love it. Oh, I love all the great information that you have and how you taught us to make a healthy, healthy salad in a mason jar. I've seen them online forever and I've never used them and I don't know why. I guess I didn't realize how simple How easy they were. <laughs> I know, so they simple. look kind of complicated, Makes but they're food not. food prep really, really easy. I want to thank Bluegrass Marble and Granite so much for being a sponsor of the Julie Tussie Show and you, uh, Fabulous Cooking, and you too can be a sponsor if you'd like to. We are so excited to be here with you, bringing you great, fast, fresh, and healthy foods and some of Mama's good cooking. Thank you so much for watching and tune in next time. If life is my oyster, darling, pass the hot sauce.